All right, guys, we are back in the shop and we are finally going to be installing the Bigsby outboard kit on my kite. Finally. Stick around. Welcome back to the channel. If you watched my last video, you know that I got a surprise package from Bigsby last week. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it right here. Go ahead and stop, go watch that video, get caught up to speed. And if you have seen that video, you know that they surprised me with a package last week. Uh, it is a Bigsby outboard kit. I did the unboxing there, and if you haven't seen it, th that way you can watch the unboxing and see everything we got. And we're gonna do the install today in this video, finally. I've been wanting to do this, finally. And uh, some other good news, you are officially looking at the newest Bigsby Ambassador. Congratulations, Seriously though, we have, I am finally, uh, we partnered up, I am officially partnered with Bigsby right now, Team Bigsby, and uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos with them in the future on my channel, so I hope you guys enjoy it, I hope you like these videos so far. If you do like these videos so far, make sure you're hitting that thumbs up button. And if you're new, please consider subscribing. It goes a long way to help my channel out. So today, we're going to get into this right now. We are going to install the J1 outboard kit from Bigsby. Uh, we've already went through everything in the last video, so you know what's in the box. And we're going to start with that. I also got the care kit, and I'm actually going to start with that. Now, I did go ahead and install the power pole plate. Uh, it's simple. The reason I went ahead and did this off camera is because it's going to install different on different kayaks. It's really nothing to it. Mine installed right here on this Bigsby plate as you can see and the pole just screws right into both sides. It's not rocket science. This is They made this super simple, easy to do. Anybody can do this. It's four bolts. You bolt it to the back of your kayak and then you put your pole on there. What we're going to do now is, well the first thing we're going to do is we are going to put our new little weed guard on our propeller. And I did go ahead and charge the battery, so we'll get to see how that works today. But this care kit that I got, I showed you in the last video, but I'll show you again real quick. It comes with a spare prop, some, uh, some grease. I think there's a little prop tool in there. And mainly this weed guard right here they sent me. And the weed guard is, I guess, an updated version of what comes on the Bigsby, as you can see. Right here, see the gaps? You, you could probably get a stick or something in there to get to the prop. Well, we're gonna remove this real quick and I'm gonna pop this on. I'm gonna do it really fast. It's only three screws. You take off these three screws right here, the back one pops off. You slide this down on there, slide it back on, put your, pop, put your threes in, and you're good to go. So I'm gonna do that real quick. It comes with the tool. Little Allen head. Just goes right there, boom, boom, one, two, and three. So I'm gonna do that really fast, super fast. Watch how fast this goes. All right, I'm gonna stop that little speed up right now and show you that it does come with uh, the prop already on there. And in order to get to that back piece to get that old guard off the back, you do have to un undo this little screw holding the prop on. So I'm just gonna grab a, a little adjustable wrench here and take it off. All right, back to the speed up. And just like that, it's that fast. And now you see the big difference that gives. You can't get your finger in there to get to that prop. It's protected really good. It's a big difference in this one and this one. And what did that take, like two seconds to do? So I'm just gonna keep this in the box because I'm always gonna keep my little box put up with all my paperwork. Then here is the motor. Let's pull that out. Here's the lanyard with the kill switch magnet on it. It goes to the battery. Go ahead and get that out. It's even got a little cushion area here, so I guess you can put it around your leg on a paddle board or you can put it wherever you need to put it. I'm just gonna run it up to the seat and keep it on my seat or beside me or somewhere. 
So that'll go there. I'm also gonna put this spare prop back in the box. I'm gonna leave the charger in the box because I've already charged the battery. It come, I think it was like three quarters of the way charged when I got it out of the box yesterday or when we did the last video. And the remote, we're gonna put it on the seat and then the battery, which surprisingly, this thing don't weigh much of anything. So it's really nice. I'm gonna put this back in here, shut the box, maybe and get it out of the way. I'm not gonna shut it because I can't get it shut one hand. Get that out of the way. All right, so now we got our battery. We got a remote. We got our kill switch. And we've, got, we've already got our shaft installed on the back. Like I told you just a second ago, it pops right on. There is nothing to it. Four bolts here, depending on the kayak that you got. If you got a Hobie PA, you're, you're gonna have to use one of these Hobie adapter plates. They're sold by Hobie, you have to order it. Heads up, they come in white. I don't know why Hobie makes everything in black or you know a color of the kayak, except for this Hobie uh, PA adapter or whatever this the it's the motor adapter or the power pole adapter, I believe is what it's called. But they make it in white. So I had to spray paint this black to get it to go with everything because I didn't want to put it white on the back of the boat. So now we've got our motor in hand, we've got our shaft right here and I'm gonna switch you guys over so you can get a better close-up of the bottom of the shaft and we're gonna pop the the actual motor on the shaft show you how easy it is this in all reality shouldn't take no more than five or ten minutes to put on your kayak and you're ready to go in the water all right so I've got a squat down here uh, to get in frame with you guys so here's the motor and here's the end of the shaft this is what the end of the shaft looks like it's got a little blue clip that you flip out right here and the wire is loose in the shaft, so you can pull slack out if you wanted to. So that's what I want to do. I'm going to pull some slack out, and then it had this little safety cap on it. I'm just going to leave that on there. I'm going to loosen up the little safety cap on that. And it just pops right in. I guess I can show you all what I just did. So, and all of these connectors can only go with what they're supposed to be connected to. So they all have their own special connection, just like this one. Pops right in right here. You turn it till it locks into place. And then I'm just gonna leave these little safety claps, claps, safety flaps or caps or whatever you're gonna call them. I'm just gonna leave them like that. So this little silver piece right here, you're gonna push your motor all the way in. It goes into the front. And the back piece back here, let me pull it back out and show you. This little blue thing right here, I hope you can see it. You gotta pull it back and it clips right onto this little metal bracket poking out at the bottom. So it locks in on both sides of the motor. It locks in on the front side of the motor with this blue clip and it locks in on the back side of the motor. And if I wasn't explaining this on how to do this, I could have it done in just a few minutes. Just like that, it's on there. We've got it mounted, it's locked into place, it's not gonna come off, it's not gonna go anywhere. And when we push it down, it clicks into this little holder. So when you, I guess whenever we get this thing in the water and it, and it pushes forward, it's gonna clip into here. There's a screw on each side of this that if you wanted to steer this on your kayak, if you had uh, like a foot pedal rudder system or you wanna get the band, uh, Bigsby hand steer to go on your side like we used in the video we did last year, you loosen these two screws up and this pole will actually turn in the shaft and they put you some connector points right up here. So you can put your left side hooked it to the here, your right side hook it to here, and then you can turn the actual motor instead of the rudder. I'm not gonna do that because I have a rudder system under my Hobie that's gonna, that I'm gonna steer with. I'm gonna pull my rudder down keep this motor locked in position and I'm gonna steer my boat with my rudder system that's already. So I'm gonna leave those locked into place and then that's all you have to do on this end of the boat. Except for, ugh, let me see if I can reach them. Your pole, your Bigsby pole adapter or power pole adapter kit, or I think that's what it's called. It also comes with this long cord and this, it feels like paracord. There we go. So it's like a paracord 
And what it does is it hooks to this top little eyelet right here that they got. And you run it forward, and it even comes with this little clip that you put on your boat. Let's see if I can show you. Oh, it comes with this little clip. And what it is is it's got the two screws. You screw this into your boat beside your seat or wherever you need to do it, put it, and you run this through the eyelet all the way up to you and you get it to where you can pull it. And when you pull, let me see if I can slide it in here real quick and show you. Can I get this on camera? Yeah, kinda. So let's say you're sitting at the boat and this was mounted to your boat. You wanna pull up your motor. You're gonna pull this cord and then when you pull it, it's gonna go down into that little V and then it's not, you can't pull it back the other way. So it'll keep your motor locked up where you want it. And then whenever you're ready to use your motor, you let it go, it falls down and clips into the little clip right there. So that's really smart. It's, re it's a really good idea. It's gonna, it makes it so easy to use. And the outboard kit or the Bigsby power pole adapter kit, this pole and this connection, comes with a long cord that you can just stick the battery in the back of the kayak, we're gonna plug it up, and then we're going to fire this bad boy up and see how it does. And then all you have to do is you take your battery pack, and we're not gonna mount this permanently in this video. This video is just to show you how quick and simple it is. I've never done this before, so we're doing this together in this video. And it's super easy to throw this thing on your kayak and get to the water. I will be permanently figuring out a way to mount this battery box on my kayak and I'm gonna take some detailed pictures and I'm gonna go over it in the next video when we get out on the water with this thing. But for now, I'm just gonna show you how simple it is to hook everything up and sync your remote. So, you've got three connector connection ports on, I can't talk right now, I don't know why. Three connection ports and it tells you exactly on the top what each one is. This one's aux, this one's got a little lightning bolt, that means that's where the power cable goes when you're power charging up your battery. And this one's got a picture of a little fan on it, your little propeller. So that tells me that that's where my propeller's gonna go. You don't even have to be able to read to use this thing. They, do, they got pictures for you. So I'm gonna connect this here. It's the same kind of connection that was on the bottom of the prop head. Twist it, it locks into place. Now we're gonna set it down right there. I'm gonna get this out of the way so it doesn't get in the way the whole time we're trying to set this thing up. Now, like I said, this motor will not power up and it will not turn on unless you have, I guess I need to pull it back up and show you one more time, the kill switch, this little circle indention right here in the top. This is the kill switch, it's a magnet. You put it on there, blue light comes on. This shows you that the power is on to the unit and it also shows you how much battery life you got. So as the battery gets weaker, that blue light, the indicator will get lower and lower. So if it comes off, you fall off the boat, you have this thing hooked to you, it kills all power to the motor. Your kayak's not gonna take off and leave you. It's, it's very safe and as you can see, it works really well, just like that. So I'm gonna stick the battery back here we're gonna stick the kill switch on it so we have power. Run it up to where my seat is. And now, let's see if we can sync this thing up. This is the remote. If you didn't see the last video, this is it. And I believe it said to sync the remote. And this is really cool. This is the quick start guide, if I didn't show it to you. This is in the top of the box when you open it up and it tells you how to do anything to do everything. Uh, to sync your remote, press the stop button and it just beeps. So that means it's already synced up. So there she goes. There's three speeds, four speeds. That thing is moving right now. Can y'all hear it? Now we're gonna back it off. That sounds like about two. 
Oh, that was one. So that was, now we can go in reverse. It does have a reverse. There's reverse. There's two. Well, that thing is humming. It's like a jet engine. And then, so right now I'm just controlling it with the forward and the backwards button. So there's reverse, but if I wanted to stop, you hit that stop button, stops it immediately. Hit, we're gonna do it really quick so it don't detect that it's not running in the water. We're gonna turn it on. There's forward, and let's pull the kill switch. There it is, cuts it right off. And then what I'm going to do, I don't know if you guys can see the front. Well, I'll move you up to the front seat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the side that I'm most comfortable with. And I'm going to wrap it around my handle. And hook it up just like it. And now, as long as the kill switch is on it, I can do that. My kite's going to go. I can drop my rudder. And now I can control the boat just like I would if I was pedaling. I can speed it up, speed it up, and if I want to stop it, I just hit the stop button. It'll beep a couple of times every time you hit the stop button so you know it's activated. Alright guys, that is how easy it is to install a Bigsby outboard kit on your kayak. Now these steps won't apply to every single kayak on the market. Your, your installation is going to be a little bit different. You might use a different mount for the back of yours. You might want to use the pole steering adapter that Bigsby sells. Now this is the adapter. If you haven't seen it, I'll put the link right here. Check it out. I did a video about two weeks ago on their Bigsby pole steering adapter. This hooks to a trolling motor or the Bigsby unit and you can steer from your seat from, with a broom handle or a painter's pole or whatever you want. This clamps right here and you can steer. You don't have to have a rudder. You don't have to use the rudder controls at the top. You literally just hook it onto the side of your the Bigsby shaft or your trolling motor shaft. If you haven't seen the video, check the video out. It's, it's really good. You'll, I, this is a really neat, cheap option for being able to steer your kayak around, especially if you have the Bigsby unit. If I didn't have the rudder system up under this Hobie, this is the route that I would be going to steer my unit. But since I have the rudder system, I don't have to use this on this but I can continue to use this on other kayaks when I put trolling motors or, or Bigsby motors on them. So, my next video, we will be putting this boat on the water. Today is Thursday, so I'm probably gonna try to put this thing on the water tomorrow afternoon if the weather permits, or this weekend, I plan on doing an early morning fishing trip, and I'm gonna have this Bigsby unit on here. So we're, we're gonna try to shoot a couple of videos between the next couple of days of the maiden voyage of the kayak with the Bigsby unit on it. We're going to do a speed test, see how fast it goes. We're going to see how reverse works, how well it does. Because this is an old PA that I have. This is a 2014. I've got the, the first Mirage Drive, I believe, that Hobie had. So I don't have reverse. I'm not used to having reverse. Bigsby just gave me reverse on the back with this Bigsby unit. So now I have reverse on the back of my kayak. So we're going to test all that out. We're going to do a little bit of fishing. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, check out my other videos, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.